honestly say um, it took a while for the world to catch on. Mm -hmm. And and, um, even now, I think that they catching on because of a void that that, that the game was missing. Not so much that they was going to come here and discover nothing. Because once again, like them boys always tell you, it's not a city where people come. Right. It's it's, 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 uh, like I say, it's 10 hours away from the city, but it's an hour and a half away from Toronto, Canada. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, we in the upstate, we in a funny, in a, in a funny situation when it comes to music and, and having an outlet. You know what I mean? We don't have that that one person where you can get a music to it and you carry off to the rest of the world. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. It's not that main strip in New York, like where you can walk down the street and end up in, in a business building, in a building where they where, they, where the record label is and shit like that. Even, even our radio stations, you know what I'm saying? Our radio stations really don't have no opportunity for artists coming out of the town Mm. They catch that up, they catch that buzz. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I like I say, we got about 200 to 300 artists in the town. Fire, a lot of them fire, really deserve a shot. But then when you look at the demographics and, and, and where we at, you know what I mean? It's, it's very far fetched that very few of them gonna get a shot. You know what I mean? That's just the real harsh reality of it. So when you talk about Conway, Benny, the whole Brazil, the BSF, you're talking a lot of hard work, you know yeah. I mean? a lot of travel. Uh, piling up in the vans early, you know what I mean? Putting your own bread, your, your feet to the pavement. Yeah. Go and do venues where you might only have 25 people in the beginning. Yeah, because I, mean? I remember, and this is just for me, five years ago, I was already aware of them. Right, right. That's when they That's when they started to catch. And I was like, dude, I've, I've known about them for eight, eight, nine years. Like, they've been doing that for a long time. It's just like, now they're starting to get their just due because of the push that they like they've been constantly trying to t- churn out music and push that shit. So yeah. talk to me talk to me about that because you said the the, the way it's set up the where you guys are the location it's it's 10 hours away from Toronto but we, or it's an hour away from Toronto but it's 10 hours away from like the main the main parts of like Manhattan and shit like that, right? So the radio besides the radio do you guys have like places for like mic open mics or places where guys can go perform? The women can go perform. Man, um, quiet is kept. We've been doing that for decades, man. Okay. This, this, if 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 you hear, you know. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Um, you know the kinds, the, the the scenes as far as the local talent shows, and I don't even call them. I hate to and I hate to put that stigma that you know that title on a lot of these things because they deserve more. Um, the actual events they sell had great turnouts. Uh, the artists come out. I think the the division more so is between the artists and the consumer. You know, we in a day and age where the consumer really want to support what I already look like is moving. Mm-hmm. And then once again, with Brazil, the situation, once they stood next to somebody with the cosigns, you know, you started to see everybody jump on the bandwagon. Yeah. But like you say, you knew about them seven, eight years ago. The talent didn't change. You dig what I'm saying? It's just more so you know, um, the light that was shared changed. Um, but our open mic scene, man, we got a lot of stuff going on. You know what I mean, um, it's a lot of people I could shout out to. I probably wouldn't know them, you know what yeah. I mean? But I definitely show love to all of the people who definitely putting their feet to the concrete when it comes to putting these local artists on, these independent artists on, man. Anybody that's really striving, we got a lot of that. Um, you ever come to Buffalo, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's definitely places I could take you where it's people performing twice a week, three times a week, a lot of different artists, man. Because that's what I was wondering, like, do you do you guys have places to perform? Because in Chicago, we have it. But the thing is, you have to travel up north. And for us, up north is basically where, and this is not to throw shade at any any culture or any group of people, but that's where the white folks was. Right, right, right. right. So if we, it was always like this, this kind of like static in a city because you had to go up there but you had to prove yourself you had to prove yourself to everybody that you could go up there and do this shit so either you was coming up there to show that you could represent the west side the south side or the east side of chicago or you wasn't you what you know what i mean so you had to go up there because that's where you could go and safely not only just do music but you could get seen you could represent because that's where every that's where all the talent was going you know what I mean? So I, I understand I understand where you're coming from because on the south side and the west side, there wasn't a lot of places where you could go to do that type of shit, you know? And in the events events that would be out there, they wasn't always like rocking out the best. Like they they, they weren't put together well all the time. I, I, I guess I could say it that way. They wasn't always put together. 
I think a lot of I think a lot of times too, um, what a lot of those type of events don't realize is that sometimes you almost gotta reach out to your more talented artists that's in your city mm-hmm. instead of just you know, cause a lot of those a lot of those situations just allow people to come in. If you're an artist, you know, you gotta sometimes they might charge you ten dollars to perform just to touch the stage. Sometimes it might be free as long as you get on the sign on list or whatever, however it may go. You know, but I think a lot of times, um, those type of situations can almost it can have a negative effect on the artist sometimes because you get you start to get noticed that you start to get looked at almost as the you know the talent show artist mm-hmm. so but i think that if in a lot of cities if the promoters was to book the more talented artists you know what i'm saying who really really got a shot you know keep your if you're gonna do that keep it to people who really really take their craft serious make it yeah. some criteria you know, so that way, you know, make a person have to bring five fans, out, five people out to support. That way, you know, you got a building at least with, if each artist got five people in there, you at least got 50 to 100 people in the building. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That might not be in tune with somebody else and everybody can gain, you know, gain something from the actual situation. And it's also important as an artist to network with the people in the building, to with the with the with the with the crowd after the event is over, with the crowd and with the other artists. Um, I know here in Chicago, uh, this is just me speaking from growing up here in Chicago, and and having to go through the music scene. There are a lot of guys that don't really want to fuck with nobody, but it's just based on the way they grew up. They grew up in an environment where motherfuckers is always warring. You know what I mean? They they used to shit going wrong. So certain guys don't like to network, but it's important to network because you help build your brand. You may be able to help cross brand with somebody else or cross market. There's a lot of stuff that can take place. So networking is another key um, to doing all that shit, man. I think I think what what you said is really important, man. And then, but the, the saddest part about our people and our culture is that. Uh, when it come to networking, like you say, it get kind of hard and get kind of difficult when you start to add the street politics that, that you know that involve a lot of our people, um, especially our rap community. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we even see that with.